Hello guys, welcome to the Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for more Civil Engineering updates. Today we are going to discuss the uh, some of the important types of the structures, uh, the determinate structure, uh, indeterminate structure, and the unstable structures. Right? How we can know that uh, what is the determinate structure? Uh, how we can find the determinate that this is determinate structure? How we can know that this is indeterminate structure? And how we can know about the unstability of a structure so we can find we can know about the uh, type of structure uh, if the if the structure is uh, uh, is going to analyze by simple the three equilibrium equation a uh, summation of fx is equal to zero summation of fy is equal to zero and summation of moment is equal to zero if a structure if or, or considering this type of beam right uh, if loading is acting and uh, we can find this uh, the reaction of this uh, for example two k per foot is load acting on this beam and we can find this reaction r a this is a this is b this is r b and we can find the, these two reaction by simply taking uh, the uh, summation of moment at a is equal to zero and then uh, then taking into account the uh, summation of f if y is equal to zero we can find the reactions right so this type of structure is called determinate structure because we can find the reaction unknown reaction by this three uh, type of equilibrium equation. So we call this type of structure is determinate structure because we can find the unknown reaction by these three equilibrium equations. So we call this e type of structure is determinate structures, right? Uh, one other method to find the determinate structure is the other. I will explain it later, right? While well, uh, now coming to the indeterminate structure. And determinate structure are those uh, are those structures which cannot be easily find by the summation of fx is equal to zero, summation of f y is equal to zero, and summation of moment is equal to zero, which cannot be easily find with these three type of equilibrium equation. But it can be find uh, by another method by taking the uh, compatibility conditions or some other method. Uh, we call these uh, type of structure is the uh, indeterminate structure. For example, taking an example of this uh, cantilever beam, and there's a hinge beam, and there's a hinge and there's a fixed support. So when the load is acting 2 kip per foot, taking an example, so we cannot find the reaction of these uh, simply and the horizontal and for some moment is also coming. So we cannot find the reaction by simply taking the summation of fx is equal to zero, summation of y summation of moment is equal to zero but what we do we will uh, take some compatibility uh, into account to find these reactions and the support reactions right so we call this type of structure as the indeterminate structure now coming into the uh, unstable structures unstable structures uh, are really simple to know uh, these are the structures which are not going to support the load and will fail upon the loading so we call the structure is the unstable structures and uh, there's some formula so we, we know about this how to find the uh, determined and determined and unstable structures right so formula uh, is the, uh, like that r when r is equal to 3n uh, r where we call it determined structure right i will i will explain it by taking an example uh, later on when r is greater than 3n we call is indeterminate structure and determinate structure and when r is less than 3n we call is the unstable structure unstable structure right so what is r what is n and what is 3 r is the number of unknown reaction number of unknown reaction unknown reaction how many unknown reactions are there uh, in an example? For example, this is a beam. Uh, there are two types of unknown reaction. One is this R A R Y and one is R X. One is this R Y. So the three unknown reactions are one, two, three. There are three unknown reactions, right? So this is called R. How many number of unknown reactions? And the other was uh, is the N. N is the number of segments. Number of segments. How many segments are there in a structure? For example, taking this into account, uh, this is a beam, this is a beam. So one segment and two segments. There are two segments, while in this case, there's only one segment, right? And there are two segments. So this, there are, and it's the number of segments, how much beams are there, how much uh, the structure is composite of a segment we call is the N. Where, while the three, uh, three is a constant, uh, so these are the three 
formulas to know about the determinate structure and determinate structure and the unstable structure. Now I will take example uh, to explain it. So taking an example uh, when right I will simply take an example of the simply supported beam right there's a simply supported beam so in this case uh, for example any load is acting on this beam and in this case uh, I did three reactions one is this one uh, for example is a this is B point so R this is R Y this is R X at A at A and this is R Y at B right so how much and how much number of reactions are one two three so what we write here number of reaction is three a equal to three and what is n number value n is one because it's only one segment there's one segment there's no other beam so we will call it one so three is equal to three yes these are equal so we call it this is a determined structure right very simple to know about the I just you to know the deter, uh, the reactions and the uh, number of segments then you can find easily what type of structure it is now uh, we we can know what the indeterminate structure take an example like this one it's like a frame structure uh, which is supported by the two-handed midpoints fixed support so there is a one horizontal one vertical one is a moment and there's also one vertical one horizontal one vertical one horizontal so how much reactions one two three four five six and moment seven seven is the reactions right this seven is the reaction and are we three and how much n one two two segments are there so we multiply it by two so seven is greater than six so we, this is now indeterminate structure it cannot be solved by simply taking the moment or summation of a five x is equal to zero this cannot be solved by simply mathematics and this can be solved by incompatibility conditions now. It's indeterminate structure now. Now coming to the third one, unstable structures. We see very less type of structures in this category. Unstable structures are those, for example, this is simply supported beam, but the road support in both conditions to one and two. Only two supports because of rural work is the rural can only support the vertical one and two. So two is less than three and there's only one segment, three and one. So 2 is less than 3, so we call it the unstable structure. This is now unstable. If the load is acting, it will not going to support any horizontal. This is why we call it unstable structures. So this was all about the uh, how to find the term, determined structure, and determined structure, and the unstable structure. And it's very important to know about these type of structures because it's used many in practical. And most of you in practical, we have more undetermined structures because it has more supports, more reactions. And if you have any question please comment down and don't forget to subscribe our channel for more civil engineering updates thank you